All right, guys. Hey, thank you for watching today's video. I just wanted to run through my battle belt, my range belt, and just kind of show you guys what's going on. I remember when I first got started with my range belt, which was not so far long ago. It was kind of a mystery. It was, I was looking at videos online and just trying to piece together what other people had. And some people even did like these descriptive videos of kind of what they had, but they all kind of assumed something. They, they all assumed that you had some kind of knowledge that I didn't have. And so I thought I would just kind of break down what I ended up doing piece by piece. And hopefully it's dummy proof enough for those of you that were just, that are just getting started like I was uh, on how to put together a, a battle belt, a range belt, and in that. So let's begin. So the very first piece, obviously, of a good uh, battle belt, a range belt, is the belt itself. So what I ended up going with is the Condor uh, LCS Cobra belt. And this is, I'm 5'10", 180 pounds, um, and I ended up going with a size small, so it fits me just right at a, at a size small there. Uh, so yeah, this is a Condor LCS Cobra. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually provide all the links to everything that I've put together in the description below. So check out the description below. I'll make sure I link to everything uh, so that you can know where to buy all this stuff. So anyways, here we go. So yeah, this is the, the Cobra uh, uh, belt by Condor. It's the LCS belt. And so he's got this Cobra locking system, which a lot of, you'll find a lot of belts have this kind of locking system. So hopefully that's, that shows up in the camera, I'm hoping. Uh, real, real slick, I really like it. Uh, you'll notice inside the belt here, um, there's, there's good padding. I'm gonna try to make sure this shows up in the video. So, pardon my slowness. Good padding here. I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of battle belts, if you've looked online, have like some g kind of gaudy two-piece systems. This is all one piece, but you can like, you know, pull this apart and adjust both sides. I mean, maybe this thing actually does completely come apart into two pieces, but it comes to you as one piece. But you basically have this kind of padding inside and then this, this side um, kind of just Velcros to it. So, and then it's got this, this webbing, this like laser cut webbing. And so all the pieces to your battle belt will come typically with like a molly uh, hookup system where you'll kind of weave it in and out of this thing. It's kind of a pain. Um, it's not super fun, but, but it's, I mean, once things are on this belt, they're really locked in, they're not sliding around. The exception to this molly system is like my Safari Land uh, ULS, um, uh, holster mount here. This, uh, the exception with that is that this, that simply slides on here like that. Hopefully that shows up in the camera. But that's the, that's the only exception. Everything else kind of goes into this webbing system I've got on this belt. So yeah, anyways, this, this belt's super comfortable. I really like it. I really like this locking mechanism. It's great. Um, <clears throat> and I can just grab and go. So then the next part of uh, the battle belt, I'd say I, I should go this direction. The holster is pretty important. Holster is an important part of the battle belt. So here's what I've got. The part that mounts to the LCS Cobra belt is the Safari Land ULS low drop um, holster mount. And so I went with the low drop and there's different information online. Like I assumed at first when I when I bought the load drop that I would need like a a thigh strap or something like that, like a like a, a like a, a belt to wrap around my leg or whatever. But that's not been the case. It actually is quite comfortable just how it is without me strapping it around my leg. So uh, you know, do what you want, but uh, but I didn't end up doing that. I think most people, you know, if they do sort of that leg strap, they fit it in through here, or something like that. But man, I, I just don't understand how that would actually be comfortable. And this is, again, like this is the, the, the Safari Land ULS uh, 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 holster mount. So what I did, I did not bother mounting my holster to it. There's some cool systems in here or out there that, that allow you to just um, 
strap in like this Safariland uh, QL, they call this a QLS. This is a quick attach system that Safariland developed that makes it so you can like attach different holsters pretty rapidly. And it is, it's brilliant. I'll show you how it works here in a second. So let's just, you know, repeat again. This is a Safariland ULS uh, holster mount. I'll provide the link below in the description. The next thing we have here is the Safariland QLS. Here it is, here's the receiver. This mounts to the holster mount, okay? That's the receiver. And then I can put a, a QLS adapter on any holster that I buy. So I got this um, holster system here is from T-Rex Arms. I, I prefer this, but uh, I'll show you here. So I got, <clears throat> I got this version for a Glock, this will fit a Glock uh, 19, 17, Glock 34 without a flashlight. And then I got a version that will hold a flashlight. Um, I've been kind of playing around with training with both with and without a flashlight. So with either of these things, it just drops right in. I mean, that is super slick. And then I just, I just pinch this bottom part here and I can just drop in the next one. It is super slick. It is like butter. Anyway, so then this next part here is, uh, yeah, T-Rex Arms. I'll provide them in the, the link below. They make this holster called the Ragnarok. Now, obviously here I've got, I've got two Ragnaroks. I got one with and without, um, for, you know, without flashlight. So this will fit one with a flashlight. This one will fit a Glock 19 through 17 uh, without a flashlight. So with flashlight, without flashlight. Uh, and both of them have the QLS adapter on them. So I can, it can just clip into any receiver. So another thing people do is like, they'll take this receiver and they'll put it on their workbench or their wall. And that way you can mount, um, you know, holsters wherever you want. It's super, super slick. So yeah, this is the T-Rex Arms Ragnarok holster. Uh, it's a, it's got, you know, some slight retention. You can adjust the retention with these, you know, with these bolts here. They, it comes pretty good. And, and every once in a while you do got to tighten these up. I've, I've heard. So pay attention to that. Um, but otherwise your, your pistol just, just kind of sits in there. I got a, so here's a, a Glock, nine, uh, Glock 17. You can just kind of hear it just kind of clicks in there just subtly. It's enough to keep it in the holster, but you can still draw really quickly. And then here is, um, we got a Glock 34, which is basically a little bit longer of a, of a 19. Yeah, same thing. Fits in there really good with a flashlight. So anyways, I love this holster system. Uh, before I came across the Ragnarok system, I was playing around with the Safari Land holsters and I just did not find them to be comfortable. I know they're very popular. They're great. If you like them, they're great. Uh, the ones that I were, was buying had too many retention systems, too many safeties to make it very practical to draw quickly. So anyways, um, that's, that's the route I've gone. I really like the Ragnarok and I, you can order these in different colors. My wife, she likes everything to be black, um, just to make mine a little bit different than hers. And it, uh, so we can tell them apart. I've, I've, I bought the Ranger Green, the Ranger Green holsters. I really like them. Real quick pro tip, guys. Uh, you can purchase this QLS receiver and attachment as a set typically, but they also sell them individually. And pro tip, if you go to the Ragnarok, if you go to T-Rex Arms and you purchase a Ragnarok holster, uh, and you put a um, attachment, a QLS attachment in your cart, uh, this will come together. They will pre, they will, they will attach it for you. Uh, same goes with any of their holster attachments. If you buy an, any kind of attachment, any kind of adapter with one of their holsters, uh, I've done this several times now, it always comes attached, which is kind of cool. It's not like it's super hard to put on yourself, but it's kind of cool to know that if I buy a holster, with a QLS attachment, it's gonna come together. And that's, I think, a pretty cool customer service thing that they do. So, little pro tip there for you guys. All right, the next thing on the list. The next thing on the list is this um, high-speed gear 
single taco pouch. So these are, this is like, a, they call these taco pouches, this kind of webbing thing here. Uh, and then this is a double decker. This is considered a double decker uh, uh, taco pouch. And so what you got here, the back one will fit a 5.56 five, mag. I haven't quite broken in this particular one. I don't, I don't really use the one back here so much. I'm about to actually swap it out for a radio pouch. I'll show you that in a second. So that'll fit the, the 5.56 five, mag in the back and then throw in a, a double, you know, double stack uh, Glock mag in the, in, the, in the front. And then you got this strap down here that allows you to adjust, uh, you know, the, the webbing on this thing. So what I do is I loosen it up a little bit and I just kind of wrench on this stuff to kind of break it all in and get, get it at the looseness that I want. So that's pretty slick. I really, most of the high speed gear stuff out there is really cool. So check out, you know, not just this product, but there's some other high speed gear stuff out there that's really rad. Check it out. Um, they, they have double decker uh, mags. You can, you can fit two 5.56 five, mags in there and uh, that they're pretty cool. So but anyways, I, I'm about to ditch this on my belt and I'm gonna put on this, uh, this is a, a 5.11 radio pouch. So we've been starting to play around with radios and stuff like that. I need to get a radio on my belt. This is a 511 uh, pouch um, for a radio. And I went with the Ranger Green again, obviously. And then it's got these Molly or Molly straps that just kind of fit right in on the belt. Uh, you know, again, like I, like I showed you at the beginning of the video, they just, they, they, they weave in through here. That's kind of tricky. Maybe I'll do that on the video. Maybe I won't. Uh, that's kind of a, Kind of a pain but uh, once you get like i said once you get it on there it's not going anywhere uh next i have this homego <laughs> i don't know if i'm saying this right i might be totally bashing the name homego <laughs> uh, tactical rip away emt pouch so they call it a rip away because once you once you unbuckle this thing you can just like rip it off and run so that's kind of cool so it makes it makes it really get really easy access to this thing. Uh, maybe I'll do another video of what I've put inside of there, or maybe I'll do it on the same video. I don't know. And it comes with this quick, with this you know cool cool little patch. So, anyways, I really like this this EMT EMT pouch. Next on the list here, we got this Condor. This is called a dump pouch. You probably seen reference to dump pouches you've probably watched videos of other really good shooters online they all have their dump pouches a dump pouch is kind of what it implies this is where you dump everything so you find uh good bullets on the ground you dump them in here uh gold coins on the on the battlefield you know you would dump them in here used mags they would you would dump them in here don't bother putting them back in the mag pouches that takes too much time you know just throw them in your dump pouch uh, this just makes it really easy to dump things when you're in, you know, when you're when you're real busy, and then you can sort through the the stuff later. So, uh, oftentimes at the range, we will use the the dump pouch for collecting brass after after we've uh, after we've been training. So it's a pretty cool system, and then it just folds right up. Let's see if I can do this online or on the on the video here. Look at that, super slick, super slick. So. Anyway, that's a that's a Condor dump pouch. So Condor makes some cool stuff. They're not they're not made in the states, but they're uh, they make some good gear. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Last but not least, this is pretty. This is between this and my holster. This is these are the things I'm really excited about. You know, high speed gear. We talked about their taco pouches. This is a triple double decker. This is a triple decker, du <laughs> triple du double decker uh, taco pouch. So this is all one unit. All three of these things is one unit, and you can see they, they come with these clips. The other one, the other one did too. They come with these clips, uh, so you can you can you can mount it to your belt. So um, I don't know if you can kind of see see in there, but that, that's what these these clips are for. So you can fit. Uh, one. I'll just show you how these how these go in here. So, yeah. 
And then... It's pretty slick. It's honestly like a really slick system. I love training with this system. I love shooting with this system. Uh, I got plenty of ammo, you know, at, at my access. A lot of people like having these mags all separate on your belt, but man, like this saves so much room, especially if you want to have things like a dump pouch, if you want to have a medic pouch, if you want to have a radio pouch and you don't want your belt to be just full of mags all the way around, especially if you're someone like me that likes to have plenty of ammo, uh, this is a great system. This saves a ton of space on your belt. It's very comfortable to wear. It really is. So there you go, guys. There you go. Uh, that's about it. If I was to add one more thing on this belt, like I said, I'm about to throw this uh, radio pouch on there. It would probably be like a little clip. I've seen some little clips that hang off the belt uh, for your range gloves. And that's probably what I would add to this belt to make it just about perfect. Other than that, I really like this system. It's been really good to me. Anyways, I, I know what it's like just starting out and you don't know what you're supposed to buy. And you just start buying things and hopefully it works out. So hopefully this saves you some money, saves you some time just figuring out what you like. And, you know, everybody likes things a little bit different. So, uh, but hopefully this will give you a good, a good start on where to go, what to get. And there you go. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe. Tell me what you think in the comments. What, did I, what am I missing? How do you like to outfit your gun belts? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks again, guys. Have a good day. Ooh.